how to lose weight and get in shape with kettlebells. I'm going to show you a new way that you can use right now. It's three actionable steps that you can undertake on a daily basis basis and they have been tested and tried in the fire of working with real people in real life because we use this formula every day in our coaching so here's what we're going to do right now we have a mission we want to get in shape we want to burn fat and we want to lose weight with kettlebells without going to the gym so first of all i'm going to prove to you that it's possible second of all we want to unlearn stuff that's wasting your time and third we want to specify a specific strategy to help you do this right now now, so here's the evidence. The first example is Rico. Watch this. In only four months, we were able to take him from an average dude to a superhero with kettlebells. That's how powerful this tool is, is if you use it the right way. And of course you might be thinking, but you've also done something with this nutrition, right? Yes, and I'm gonna show you what we did in this video. Example number two is Jim, almost unrecognizable. This is the same man. And what makes me even happier is you can see on the right, he's also now a certified instructor from the RKC. So he took big steps to change his life. And then we have Moni, example number three. Watch this, over 50. Jim also over 50. So you don't have no excuse. Sometimes people think, well, Life changes after 30, life changes after 40, life changes after 50, and of course, life changes all the time. But your metabolism is still going. And if we turn the cogs of weight loss in a proper manner, you will experience it too, and I'm gonna give you the proper strategies right now. And we have more countless examples on YouTube and from our extended community online, so this stuff works we have to follow the rules of the game weight loss is a question of three steps step number one move more step number two eat less step number three be consistent and make it a habit that's it it's not easy to do of course but the method is simple there's always the same three core concepts and distraction and overcomplicating things will rob you of your joy of your results and of your success so again step one we have to move weights in our case we use the kettlebell which is the perfect tool to get in shape step two is we have to eat more veggies and less ultra processed food and that's a simple equation if we take in less energy from food than we use our body has to get rid of his reserves which are our fat cells step number three we have to do this on the regular so that you get used to it and here's a powerful quote that I want to give you that I've learned from Dan John. There's two rules to success. Number one is to start doing. That's what you are doing because you're watching the video. And number two is to keep going. Many people don't keep going. Step one and step two only work if you do it throughout the whole year. It's not rocket science. And like I said, it's simple, but maybe not as easy. So here's what you can do right now. I'm going to show you three powerful game changers that you can apply right now as a strategy to burn fat, get in shape with the power of kettlebell training. First of all, I have a powerful kettlebell workout prepared for you that you can do right now to get fit, get in shape, burn fat, lose weight with the kettlebell, and I'm gonna show it to you right now. This kettlebell workout builds on our philosophy that is built into three blocks. Block number one is strength and muscle. Block number two is strength endurance, so-called hybrid endurance, because the kettlebell is such a special beast that it builds a specific quality that is unknown to human beings unless they pick up a kettlebell. And then we have block number three, a powerful finisher. So let's check out these specific blocks or phases, if you will. In phase number one, in strength and muscle, we have three exercises that we do for 10 reps each. We have the split squat, we have the thruster, and we have the push-up. We follow the MSEP protocol for six minutes. This means we do all three exercises unbroken together, then we have one set, and we do as many sets as possible in six minutes. After we have finished those six minutes, we have one round, and we do two rounds. In block number two, we have three exercises, the press, the goblet squat, and the double-handed clean and press. Now we follow a circuit method. This means we do all three exercises for two minutes each, unbroken. This equals six minutes, and this is one round. And we do two rounds 
total. Block three or phase three at the end is our finisher where we love to do carry variations. Simple stuff. Suitcase walk for two minutes, one minute with the left side, one minute with the right side. Exercise number one is the split squat. Clean the kettlebell up, grab it by the bell itself so that the handle points towards the floor. Take one step back, chest up, shoulders back. Now, my knee behind me touches the floor and then I come back up. One, two, and then we do five reps with the left side and then five reps with the right side. Exercise number two is the thruster. After we finished the split squat, we want to drop the kettlebell into the backswing, go into the thumb grip where I insert both of my thumbs inside the window of the kettlebell, grab the bell itself, shoulder with stands, squat down, press up. That's one. That's two. And again, we do 10 reps. Total. The final exercise is a diamond push-up. I love this exercise. Drop the kettlebell to the floor so that the handle points away from you. Now diamond grip, chest up, shoulders back. Now push up. And again, as you might have noticed, we do 10 reps of these. This concludes the exercises from phase one. Let's check out phase two. Exercise number one is to press. Clean the bell up. Insert your hand inside the window of the kettlebell. Elbow close to the body. Now press. And now we have the circuit method. And in this case, we do one minute with the left side and then one minute with the right side. Then we drop the kettlebell, bring it up into the goblet position, chest up, shoulders back. Now I squat down and I come back up. And two minutes of these bad boys, you're gonna love me. And finally, we have the double handed clean and press. Drop the bell down. Now grab it in a deadlift position, chest up. Now clean the bell up, insert your thumbs inside the window of the kettlebell. Press and drop the bell back down. If you choose a challenging weight for this workout, I guarantee you, you'll feel it in your arms and in your shoulders most definitely. The beautiful thing about this selection of exercises is the aerodynamic protocol. In phase number one, after you have done the split squat, you go immediately into the thruster, switching grips and keep going. After the thruster has really gassed you, you drop the kettlebell down to the floor and you jump into those really nasty push-ups. In part number two with the circuit method, I believe this is where the kettlebell shines the most. These six minutes are well spent and we don't stop. We press with the left side, then we press with the right side, then we drop the kettlebell into the backswing, grab it in the goblet position and then go immediately into a two minute goblet squat and after we finish the goblet squat, we drop the kettlebell down to the floor and then we clean it up and press it. So there's so much work involved that you get a lot of bang for your buck. So now that we understand the training and the workout that we have to engage in, you want to follow this simple strategy to build good eating habits. Here we go. Eat one big portion of veggies to every meal. Sounds simple, but it's so powerful. And with big portion, I mean, if this is your plate, half of your plate is veggies. Do this on a daily basis. Even if you do it only once per day, that's 365 portions of veggies per year. Think about the big numbers and the big numbers add up in the end. And this is what it may look like. You can use some beans, some chickpeas, some pepper, a little bit of bread if you had a training day. And how do I treat bread and rice and pasta and all that kind of stuff? I always say, we hunt, we eat. This means if I have a training day, which is hunting back in the day, then I can eat a little bit more in the form of bread, rice and pasta or whatever have you. If I didn't hunt, I leave it away. And then we maybe add a fruit and we're all set and ready to go. These were the first two steps. Now here's step number three. Stay accountable by joining a group, a structured system or find a workout buddy. This may sound like a simple strategy that doesn't really equate to nothing, but if you and somebody else join forces to keep each other accountable, maybe you write it down, maybe you join a group and you write it in the group that you wanna do it and you use it like a diary, then you hold yourself accountable and you treat training, fitness, nutrition, kettlebells, you treat it like a necessity and not as a luxury. These three steps lead to a simple but yet powerful solution that we have seen and practice every day. Combining a regular training routine, step number one, with a solid eating habit, step number two, 
And an accountability group, step number three, will build intrinsic motivation and influence your decision making. What does that mean? Maybe you go out with your friends and now since you're doing all that kettlebell work and now you're watching your nutrition, you say one beer is enough. Maybe you're out with somebody else or you're watching a movie. Maybe after one little bag of popcorn, you're saying that's enough because you've put so much in the bank of your health, fitness, training, and nutrition. And these positive actions will lead to positive thoughts. This will lead to positive manners, which in the end will lead to positive results. Now here's what's in the way for 99% of people and probably for you too. We're gonna take a look at these obstacles and I'm also gonna give you solutions to overcome these obstacles. Number one, I don't have time to train. First of all, Kettlebell training doesn't take a lot of time and it doesn't have to be every day. Matter of fact, most of our clients train once or twice a week and experience serious results. The habit is the key, the consistency is the key. One workout every week is 52 workouts in a year. Always think about the big numbers. And here's the final point. Check your screen time, my friends. This works like magic. You're looking for a way to free up some of your time Check your screen time. You probably spend too much time on these time-sucking vampires such as Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, all these social media apps. Just take away 30 minutes and you're good. Number two, this doesn't work for me. Well, I just showed you these examples. These are people from different walks of life and they were able to succeed. And now you maybe wanna ask yourself this question. When was the last time you stuck to a program for 12 months? Most people can stick to a program for a couple of days, couple of weeks, and then disaster strikes. So most of the time, it's not the question that you cannot do it, but it's a question that you're not consistent enough. And there's a solution for this. First of all, we have to understand our perception of reality. Life is not what it seems. For example, I have a story from a client. He had to eat a fruit every day. And then I was at the dinner table, his wife was there and I asked him, hey, how's it going with your everyday fruit? And he said, well, it's going perfectly. Just recently I had it. The last couple of days I ate fruit every day. So his wife storms in and says, no, for the last three weeks I didn't buy any fruits. What are you saying? And he was like, oh, really? And I'm not trying to say that he was lying to me. He was having a warped perception of reality. He thought he had it. And yes, he had it a couple of weeks ago but he thought it was just recently. Number two, many of us suffer from the shiny object syndrome. Like I said, Dan John's quote, number one, get started, and number two, you have to keep going. Many people get started, but they don't keep going because they suffer from this syndrome. They see something that's sparkling in the dark and then they jump on it. They found it and now they stick to it for a couple of days. And then they see something else that's shiny and then they walk away from this original object to the next object that's shiny. And so they jump around back and forth and never finish a structured program. Number three, perception of time goes in tandem with perception of reality. We're completely off when it comes to making out specific dates and time that happened in the past. Let me give you another example. Two of our clients, and this happened independently, were sitting right in front of me. And I was like, hey, where have you been last week? First of all, I'm always like, hey, awesome that you're back in the gym, great, but where have you been last week? And both of them independently on different occasions said, well, I was here last week. And we have a system where people have to sign up to get to get training. So I checked the system, I checked the names, they weren't there, both of them. And they were both like, oh, well, I guess it was two weeks ago. And I said, you see, time runs so fast and we do not even recognize it and realize it. And the last point, metabolism. Science says that it stays the same for almost everybody. Yes, there might be exceptions. You might have the friend who can eat whatever he or she wants and doesn't add weight or doesn't gain weight. And then you, you, you don't only have to look at food and you already gain weight, right? And yes, these are differences in our metabolism, but it doesn't slow down. The only thing that we have to do is we have to change a couple of systems, a couple of cogs in, these, in this big wheel of weight loss in order to to get a hang of it. And here's the most important cue that I wanna share with you right now. And that is, don't focus on the results, but focus on the habits. 
because if you focus on the habits, results will follow. However, if we only focus on the results and they don't appear immediately, we let go of the habits. The next point, you're not motivated to train. That's why I'm saying habits trump motivation. Are you motivated to go to work every day? No, you're not, but you made it a habit. And of course, you're looking for the paycheck, but you're going to work because you're a habitual creature. When it comes to training, it's the same. Motivation gets you to act and habits keep you on track. And the final point, I'm scared to injure myself with kettlebells. Yes, kettlebells need proper skill. You have to understand them. And yes, people who do not treat them well, they risk injury. However, I wanna give you some sort of relief. Proper form is important. Yes, we always wanna keep it at the center of our training, but there is a tolerable margin. You don't have to be perfect from the get-go. And nobody picks up a 40 kg or 32 kg kettlebell and starts swinging because they are sensible people and they realize, oh, that's way too heavy. If you use lighter weights, the kettlebell is forgiving. Plus, what happens if you don't train? I don't train with kettlebells because I'm scared of injury, so I don't train at all. What's the downside? All these problems that may occur if we don't move our body on a regular basis. So now you may be thinking, these principles sound awesome, but I need a structured program. So if you want me to help you, I got something for you. We call it 90 Days of Kettlebells. 90 Days of Kettlebells is for people over 40 who want to get in shape with kettlebell training without wasting time and money at the gym. Therefore, the mission of 90 Days of Kettlebells is discover an easy method to get in shape improve your fitness while enjoying the training and the workouts and attain a lean kettlebell physique. I understand the pain you are experiencing because I see the pain from our clients in the gym and I felt it myself. Achieving and maintaining a lean body does not come naturally to me neither. I have to fight for it just like you. The only difference between me and you is I have a little bit more experience with training and I've already built a habit which I'm a slave to. And now your goal is to build the habit and build some experience. So here's exactly how this will help you. Number one, you will do three workouts per week for 90 days. Number two, you will build three eating habits in 90 days. And number three, you will join our Facebook group to stay motivated. And this goes in tandem with the three steps that I just showed you. Number one, we have to move more. Number two, we have to eat better and maybe a little less. And number three, we have to join an accountability group to stay motivated to train. So let's go through 90 days of kettlebells real quick. It's three months of training and coaching on an on-demand basis. So once you sign up for 90 days of kettlebells, this will be your dashboard. In the middle, you have the video and all the stuff that you have to do. And on the left side, you have, you have all the chapters and the lessons. And you see that blue button right there that says complete and continue. Every time you finish a day, you click on it. And then this sends a signal to your brain that you're building a new habit. This little blue button is powerful. You have to do it every time you jump into the course. And it's very easy. You can access it from everywhere in the world as long as you have an internet connection. So here's what you need. A kettlebell, discipline, and a little bit of dedication. And so here's how 90 days of kettlebells will help you. Simple, high quality workouts that have been forged in the fire of our in-house gym because we are working with people over 40, over 50, over 60 on a daily basis with great results. It's a maximum of 30 minutes per session, so it's not a lot that you have to invest in from your day. You'll train three days per week and you'll build good eating habits. Every day you have to click on it. You see the system will tell you, hey, today we have eating habit number one. We want to eat a fruit, for example. And then once, you, once you've done it, you have to click complete and continue. This is what we call habit building. Because if you have to show me that you're doing it, it's actually worth it. And this is how we actually build a habit. It's not just that I said, well, I think I did it. No, show and prove. And it's going to help you achieve the lean kettle physique. There's one powerful bonus in this course that you're going to enjoy most definitely. Matter of fact, many people who opted in for this course said 
This, what I'm showing you right now, is worth the price alone. And that is Steve Carter's three and a half hour on-demand seminar that he had with Angie and me on a private basis in June 2019 when we got certified by him and the IKFF. In these three and a half hours, you'll be able to watch and learn from the master himself. I told you that skills are important, experience is important. He's gonna teach it to you on a perfect basis because back then, yes, we maybe had some experience with fitness, but not with kettlebells. We were complete beginners, complete noobs, and he was taking his time and you're going to learn so much, I guarantee it to you. Now let's talk about the value that you have in this course. So here's what other people have paid. 90 Days of Kettlebells is based on our in real life coaching system. If you want to join our system and work with me on a personal training basis for six months, you pay up to 7,999 US dollars. If you want to jump into Steve Carter's seminar, which is a bonus video, in a group setting and want to get certified, that's approximately 700 US dollars. So it's a total value of over $8,000 of knowledge, experience, and value that's packed into 90 days of kettlebells. But $8,000 is uh, not what I'm charging. $9.97 is uh, not what I'm charging. I'm charging, drum roll, brrr, boom, 147 US dollars. Or you can choose a payment plan of 59 bucks per month for the next three months. So imagine you save 99% of the inherent value that's in this course. And here's my guarantee. When we got certified by Steve Carter, I knew these are solid coaching principles. And you're going to learn from me, and I am Steve Carter's protege. And we have so much experience with people right now that I can confidently say that this is going to blow your mind because it's going to help you. I call it the no gain, no pay guarantee. If you don't gain wisdom, and knowledge to get in shape, burn fat, and get in the shape of your life with kettlebell training, you don't pay. You get the money back, plus you can keep the course. I stand behind our product 100%. So this makes your decision right now 100% risk-free. You don't have nothing to lose. So sign up right now, and I'll see you on the other side of this program.